Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. I was initially motivated to do this specific video because apparently now everyone is going and baking their own bread at home. And let me show you some data in order to illustrate this. You will see it is absolutely crazy. Since countries all over the world declared the states of emergency and people were in lockdown and so on, searches in Google for how to make bread have multiplied by three times. Moreover, the online traffic on recipes on how to make basic bread have increased by 235%. And let's not talk about the banana bread, which skyrocketed at 631%. And the last graph I want to share with you are the searches for flour and yeast on the Amazon website. The lowest increase has been of a 617% and the highest one of 3500%. Crazy, crazy numbers. And of course, with this increasing interest on how to make bread, the sales of bread makers are also breaking records. According to an article published on Market Watch this past 17th of April 2020, Bed and Bath and Beyond which is a chain of retail stores in North America, increased their sales of bread makers by 400% with respect to last month. The numbers are there. You have seen them, I have seen them. But the question that I have in mind is, is it really cheaper to make your own bread at home or is it actually cheaper to go up there and just buy it in the supermarket? And before I uncover the answer, it would really, really help the channel if you could just please like the video. You have done that? Yeah? Perfect! Thank you very much! That said, for the purpose of this video, we will be making just regular white bread. That, as far as I know, it's probably the cheapest option. And of course, we will also be comparing it with the cheapest possible option we can find in supermarkets. So what do we need to make one kilogram of bread, uh, at least with the bread maker that I have at home? We need the following ingredients. 750 grams of flour, 420 milliliters of water, yeast and salt. That's it. The cost of these ingredients, at least in, the, in Spain, is the following. 32 cents in flour. In water, uh, considering that we're taking water from the tap, we will assume that it's of a cost of 1 cent, although most probably it's even less than that. For yeast, I usually buy two pieces that cost me 35 cents and then I manage to use four times. Therefore, this results in 9 cents per each time I bake bread. And finally, the salt, the, the same as water, I uh, consider it to cost 1 cent, although again, most probably it's even less than that. Total cost of the ingredients to bake 1 kilogram of bread is of 43 cents. To that, we also need to add the electricity and for the purpose of this example, we will assume that the cost of it is of 5 cents. With that, we have that each time that we bake 1 kilogram of bread, we have a cost of 48 cents. And I know, we still haven't added the cost of buying a bread maker. And actually, there are many different bread makers. There are bread makers that cost 50 euros, up to 200, 400 or even more. For the purpose of this analysis, as we were doing earlier, we will take just the cheapest option possible and I found it to be one sold in Lidl and the cost of it was of 50 euros. So, to simplify this chaos, we have that in order to make one kilogram of bread, we have an initial cost of 50 euros plus a variable cost for each time we make bread of 48 cents. Let's look at which are the prices that we can find in the supermarket. And as we took the bread maker from Lidl, we will also take Lidl as an example. The price of a baguette of 250 grams is of 37 cents, which translates into 1 euro and 48 cents per kilogram. And although initially I thought that buying a baguette would probably be the cheapest option, it actually is not because there's a bread that weighs 1 kilogram and its price is of 1 euro and 29 cents. Well, which is the conclusion to all of this? The basic one is that if you already have a bread maker at home, it is of course much cheaper to make your own bread. Nevertheless, if we do this properly, we should be baking bread at least 61.72 times, so let's round it up to 62 times, in order to cover the expenses, in order to do the initial investment of 50 euros to buy the bread maker. 
So answering the question on the title of the video and the whole purpose of it, and this is just my first answer, I really want to emphasize this, is that making your bread at home is cheaper than buying in the supermarket. But wait, that's not it. I still have more things to add on that. The first one is that it's probably much more healthy to bake your own bread at home, as you know which ingredients you're putting in and so on, than going out and buying it in the supermarket. And by the way, now that I mentioned this, I went and checked which were the ingredients that the bread that you could buy in Lidl, the one that we were talking about before, uh, which ingredients did it contain. And I was super, super surprised. I leave the whole list here for you, but you can find things such as uh, calcium carbonate, monoacetyl and diacetyl and so many other things that you don't really need and that as you saw at the beginning with my recipe they were obviously not there because bread in the end is just flour, water, yeast and salt. And here comes my last point and the one that maybe makes you rethink the way you see this as making your own bread at home cheaper. Because actually, making your own bread, even if it's with the help of a bread maker, it still takes you time. And you know what they say, time is money. And yes, even if you make bread using a bread maker, you will need time. I estimated a uh, time around 6 minutes uh, that basically englobes uh, waiting all the ingredients, placing them inside the bread maker, turning it on, and then after the bread is made, just removing it and cleaning the whole machine. In this example, we are of course leaving aside the two or three hours that it takes to make the bread. And we are also assuming that our time is at least worth 10 euros per hour. This basically means that our time to make one kilogram of bread is worth one euro. Therefore, our variable cost of making the bread, when we add the time, it increases from 48 cents to one euro and 48 cents, which was higher than the price we saw to buy the bread in the supermarket. As a result, considering the time, we are seeing that it's actually cheaper to go to the supermarket and just buy the bread when you are there. Um, and also, we are not adding any extra time on going to the supermarket because we assume that people also need to go to the supermarket to buy many, many other items. Anyways, these are my thoughts. This was the whole analysis and I leave it up to you to decide whether you want to bake your own bread at home or just buy it in the supermarket. Anyways, let me know in the comments below whether you prefer the first option or the second one. Up until then, thank you very much and see you next time.